She liked pizza. So she used to go to the local pizza shop and Big Bank Hank was making pizza. Right? With the pizza. Oh. So Hank used to be the bouncer at a club that the Cold Crush used to play at. Now, how do we know people's rhymes? Cassette tapes. We ain't had no fucking records. So you had a cassette tape. Everybody hustled to get the tape. I don't give a fuck. Now, yo, you hear that new Cold Crush? You hear that new Flash? You hear that new Funky? You, you trying to get that tape. You gonna learn them rhymes just like you hear a record, you gonna fucking learn it. And eventually, this nigga in the fucking pizza shop re reciting on cash shit. <laughs> she like this, yo. You wanna make a record? That motherfucker said, hell yeah. I'm a C-A-S. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, now. On the Big Face Gary Show, you got the real story. Okay. Big Face Gary Show, YouTube. Now, the whole, the whole group. Wow. Wonder Mike, right, was in school with her oldest son, Joey. Right? And he was doing this little disco rhyme shit. So, he went home, mama. I got a friend. He can rhyme too. So what, why, Wonder Mike, have you ever went over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? <laughs> okay. Master G, <laughs> he done heard. That was crazy. The, you brought uh, that was crazy. He, he done heard me. through the streets that they trying to do a rap record. He run up in there. Now, back then, he used to work out, so he had a nice little tight physique and all that. She liked it like that, mm -hmm. right? So he said, I can rhyme. You know what I mean? And. You know, he did his little shit for her. So now she got a dilemma because one, she wanted to do this record, but she only wanted it to be one MC. Why? Because she only saw a love bug. So she wanted to create that, right? But now she got three, three dudes in front of her. She don't know who to pick. So she said, fuck it, we gonna go in and I'm gonna cut all three of y'all. That's how Rapper's Delight was born. Wow, thank you so much. Y'all got it from the Big Face Gary Show, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Now, you're killing that sweater too, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. <laughs> I love what's going on. So now, bottom line is, we can't even have a good deal back then. Everybody deal was fucked up back then. None of them was good. Everybody's deal was fucked up, but some people got treated better than others. So give me some like a good, a good deal that you was okay. It was still shitty. But I couldn't. Okay. I, I couldn't tell you because in my era, right, everybody that got deals with us got shitted on. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. Um, we got signed to enjoy. Right. He was just about that. Enjoy. Back. Bobby Robinson was a good dude, right? But Bobby Robinson didn't have faith in hip hop. Is that the owner? Yeah. Okay. Bobby Robinson, no relationship to Sylvia Robinson. Bobby Robinson thought, like most people, that it was a fad, that the shit wasn't gonna last. Coming to pass. So he figured, let me just milk this shit right now because it's hot in the streets, you know what I mean? So what he did was he, he, he put his scouts out, like who's, 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 who's it? I need to know who's it. Two names came up. Funky Four, Furious Five. Right? Plus y'all, plus one. Okay. He picked us because we had the girl. Right? And the reason why, because in his mind, he's going to appeal to both audiences, male and female. Right? With all guys, he's like, that's just only going to appeal to one of them. Makes so sense. he chose us, and we got the first legitimate record deal. Right? right? Okay. We put out um, the longest rap record <laughs> to date. But was it a cash advance then? What they gave you? Like, what did they care? give you for the deal? What, how much cash deal? advance? Any money? Yeah, tell us now, as now you they getting signed for $2 million for the wackest. What they give you cash wise, man? What did they do for you? $500 each. Yo, what the fuck? No back end. No hold nothing. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Yo, pause that, man. I'm going to use the bathroom. We're going to get a shot. We're going to take a shot to that. Haitian gorilla dance. <laughs> I'm giving you all that fire realism. Subscribe to the Big Face Gary Show YouTube. Ha, ha, ha. If you don't subscribe, you might not see it.
Because that's not happening because we never going to stop. Subscribe to the Big Face Gary Show YouTube. Subscribe to the Big Face Gary Show YouTube. Subscribe to the Big Face Gary Show YouTube. Holla. Ha. <laughs> Keep my, my brother. My brother is hell. I love my brother. Hell no. Keep bad, man. My brother is hell no. You what did the fuck you just said to me? Five hundred dollars. I'm not bragging. Me and Ron spend that on aggravating each other. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. just saying. My crew, man, we, we spend on aggravating each other. Am I low? Big. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's a joke. Man. Five hundred. Dollars? What you do with that five hundred? What you do with that five hundred? What did I do with that five hundred? Yeah, back there. Talk I went to AJ Lester and got laced. I went to AJ Lester and then uh, British Walker. Oh, I bought British Walkers. I, I walked out of AJ Lester. Matter of fact, I bought I bought a, a, a safari suit. Mm. I bought a trench coat. I bought the uh, the Tom Landry hat. Okay. Right? Dallas coach. Um, and um, I went to uh, um, British Walker. I bought some British Walkers and some Playboys. Ooh. You're Playboys. my brother. You're my brother. Yes, Bubbles. I do. You're from Queens, right? No, now. And, and we and that, have Playboys. So question. And that 500 was dead. So I'm asking question. So ah. what, what were they giving show money out that day? Were they, what were they what were you getting for shows back in the days? Okay. Like for a show. Don't laugh. I ain't going to laugh at you. Right, nice. not, I, I, I listen, listen, listen. There's some real shit. The parties we used to give, it was two dollars for the girls you'd get in, three dollars for the guys. All right. So now, if the spot only hold a thousand people, and just say a thousand, right? It's a possibility that we could make three thousand, right? But now we gotta split it with the club, cause the club getting half. Now we got fifteen hundred to split between eight motherfuckers. About a buck fifty a piece, two hundred. We wasn't even getting that. Because the people that was running this shit was basically saying we had to pay for the sound system and all of this and like this and that, right? So my first party, I got $25, right? I ain't gonna lie, and that, that shit, shit funny. That, that shit went for... That shit not no great... Were you the funky four plus $25 one more or the young ain't no money. plus one at that time? Yeah. And you had a record, at, you, your record was <laughs> yeah. out. No, we, 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 we didn't have a record yet. Right. Now, what... I'm sorry. Come on, I'm come sorry, Ron. This on, motherfucker man. here. No, he's stupid. He said something crazy. I, Ron, I'm good. This is crazy. Again, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm so sorry. This guy's right, crazy. So now, that's crazy. 25? Do that. I get down with, um, I become a, a official member of the Funky Four July 11th, 1979. Great. Yeah, that's great right now. Right. Like, uh, me and Jazzy Jeff, we move from a group called the Mad Neighbors to Seven, and we become the two new members of the Funky Four. Now, the original Funky Four was K.K. Rockwell, who was called the voice of K.K., then Keith Keith, then Sha Rock, then Raheem, who, who eventually went to the Furious Five. Mm -hmm. So they were the original Funky Four. Raheem either quit or got fired. Depending on who you talk to, you're going to get two different stories. If you ask him, he's going to say he quit. If you ask the group, they're going to say they fired him. Sha Rock left in protest. Because she didn't want him to leave the group. So she left in protest. So that left KK and Keith. So they started having auditions. Me and Jazzy Jeff, we ended up auditioning. They ended up giving us the spot. Okay. We become the new Funky Four. Raheem ends up going to the Furious. Shah Rock comes back to us. We become the Funky Four. She becomes the plus one more. Okay, great, 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 great. Shout so, out Sha Rock. Shout out Sha, you're official. So, skipping around, can you just tell me a structure the deal you have with Sugar Hill? The deal? With Sugar Hill, the, the record label. You mean the ball and chain contract we had with them? Yeah, I guess. Um, basically, we signed everything to them. You know what I mean? And I mean, when I say everything, everything. They wanted my first child and all that. Ew. Fuckers, it wasn't shit. Man, God damn. Fucking, listen. And I mean this from the bottom of my, of my heart. My mama told me that you're supposed to always say something good about the dead. Sylvia Robinson, you dead? Good. Because you ain't shit, you dirty. All right, well, you know what? We're going forward.